Hello and welcome to a very quick video tutorial on how to use Auto Solo, a program I made to set up your Litecoin client to accept solo mining and to configure a miner to solo mine to your client. All for you automatically with just a couple things that you type in, things like uh, the aggression you want your GPU to run at and things like whether you want to overclock. Very straightforward. So, uh, this uh, program downloads multiple jar files, creates batch files, and downloads Litecoin and CGminer for you from my servers. The reason I downloaded it all from my servers is because uh, the way I make the client, if I did it so that when uh, so that it downloaded from Chiklavos and from um, Cobbly's uh, websites or servers, it would have an issue with when there was an update. Uh, if 2.6.2 or 2.6.3 for CG Miner came out, it would still be looking for the 2.6.2 download link. So I'd have to release a new version of Auto Solo.jar, and then I'd have to include all the other jars inside of it and have them extract out. Whereas if I downloaded it from my server, it, all it does from my server is download instead of downloading CG Miner hyphen 2.6.2 hyphen Win32 dot zip, it downloads CG Miner dot zip and downloads litecoin.zip. So when updates come out, I can swap the new files onto the server without having to change anything. The old client still works just fine unless there are any major changes. However, even with those, I can change most of the jar files that it downloads on the server without affecting this launch, this original application. So there may occasionally be updates to this, but in general, um, I'll be able to do most updates without ever having to update this client here. So anyway, uh, all you need for it is couple minutes of time, you need Java installed, and you need a card to mine on. Uh, that's basically it. So all you do is just double click. It'll uh, say, Welcome to Vorkshulk Solo Easy 1.0.0. This program is an all-in-one program to download and configure the Litecoin client and CG Miner for solo mining. If you do not feel comfortable having this jar file download files on your computer, please type disagree or anything else. Anything but I space agree will um, not work. Otherwise, type I agree and press enter. I'm going to type I agree. Caps don't matter at all. It does. It converts it to lowercase before it checks to make sure you said I agree. And enter. It's going to download Litecoin. And actually, if you want to watch this folder, you can see some stuff happen. Litecoin.zip and cgminer.zip are downloaded. Then they're extracted. So here's just the window where all that progress happens. There you can see it extracting everything. And you're left with two nice little folders, and two other jar files that you really don't have to worry about at all. They don't concern you. Uh, the program will clean them up. See, the program just deleted them. Uh, so well, you started with all you started with was autosolo.jar. You double-clicked it, and all of a sudden you have uh, four files, four folder, two folders, and two batch files there. You can just close this window. This doesn't do anything. Uh, that window was created by the cleanup script. And uh, here's my Litecoin client. Uh, as you can see, I already mined a block previously, previous to this tutorial. And uh, so it asks, what color would you like the background to be? This is for configuring CG Miner. Uh, the background, I want it to be black and the font green. That's talking about the CG Miner console window. The GPU model, I have a 5970. This will work with any of the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7000 series on both the desktop and mobile processors. Uh, so if you have a 6990, you type in 6990. However, if it's a mobile one, you do 6990M. The reason it wants to know is because it keeps track of how many shaders. Uh, it, it knows about almost 200 GPUs. It knows their shader counts. It knows their engine clocks and their memory clocks by default. So it can guide you through the overclocking process and create the CG Miner script with the proper amount of shaders counts. So the GPU model is a 5970. It asks the aggression you would like. I'm going to choose. Um, 12 because I, while I'm recording I don't want it to crash, although if this was a dedicated miner i choose 16 to 17 and if I wanted to use it while I was my, use the computer while I was mining I'd choose 12 to 13 maybe 14 for some cards press enter. This also doesn't work too well if you have a lot of different cards like if you have a 5970 and a 6990 it, it only supports one card or one type of card so if you have a bunch of if you have like three 5970s it'll work perfectly fine but if you have mix and matched cards in your system uh, you may run into a couple issues and have to do the uh, CG Miner config yourself. So just keep that in mind. But in general, if you only have one GPU or all your GPUs are the same type, you'll have no problem with this. Press enter, 12. I would like to do overclocking. Agree. 
I'd like to overclock the engine to 810 megahertz. As you can see, it looked at my that my 5970 has a default core clock of 725 megahertz. I'm going to boost it to 810, and the memory to 1025. Now, if I was going to do some serious mining, I'd want my engine to be 860 and my memory to be 1150 with an overvolt of 1.1 volts on this card. It changes from card to card. So 1025, and I asked if I want to do a custom voltage. Note, uh, CG Miner, and this isn't a problem with my program as far as I see it, it's an issue with CG Miner because this writes the config the right way. CG Miner sometimes has an issue uh, changing the voltage, and so if that is the case, use something like MSI Afterburner or Sapphire Tricks, TRIXX, and that should work for you if you're not able to overvolt using this program. Again, my program doesn't do the overclocking and overvolting. It gives you the info, then writes the config file so that CG Miner itself does overclocking and overvolting. Now, I'm not going to do a custom voltage today, and my work size 256. You can experiment with all three, um, and I'll show you how in just a second. Press enter, and then it'll say once your Litecoin client has finished downloading blockchain. Oh, and also uh, something to point out I already had Litecoin installed here. You don't have to have it already installed, but if you do, it'll preserve all your current files aside from litecoin.conf. That's the only file it overwrites in your Litecoin directory. Uh, so if you have Litecoin installed, it won't like mess with your wallet or anything, although I would always recommend backing up wallet.dat anytime you're going to do anything like this. And then, um, uh, as whereas if you don't have it installed at all, it'll install it for you. It'll uh, create the Litecoin directory, it'll put the configuration file there, it will download, uh, it'll install Litecoin, and Litecoin will begin downloading the blockchain. If it says, if it has a little progress bar here, and um, it doesn't show a check mark here, that means it is downloading the blockchain. You can't mine while it's downloading the blockchain. You have to wait until the blockchain is completely downloaded, and you see this little green check mark right there. So press enter to close this window. Now over here, this is the folder where we originally had autosolo.jar, same folder. As you can see, autosolo.jar is gone, it deleted itself. And we have four, we have two folders and two bat files. CG Miner, this is your miner. This is a complete copy of CG Miner 2.6.2, I think. And then back here you have Litecoin, the latest version of Litecoin here. And uh, all you need to worry about is these two batch files. Launch Litecoin.bat will, uh, if there is a version of Litecoin running, it'll kill it and launch a new one. See, watch. Ta da! And you can close this window at any time, it's not useful. And uh, then launch miner.bat will launch uh, CG Miner with a configuration file that you created earlier with CG Easy. The version of CG Easy you used earlier to create the configuration file, that's the one where I asked for the type of card and the aggression and stuff, that one knew that you were doing solo mining, so it automatically um, put in localhost, port 9332, it automatically put in y y your worker name and password as it's set in your Litecoin folder, which it sets um, your username as username and password as password. Um, and then it sets the only port to allow to 127.0.0.1, that is localhost. If you, for some reason, want to mine to this computer from another computer, uh, you'll have to go in and change that, but beyond the scope of this tutorial here. Uh, if you want to create more CG Miner configs, there is CG Easy and CG Easy Solo.jar. This you can delete. You don't need CG Easy Solo.jar. And CG Easy, you can just double click it and run it, and this is the complete program. So this is not the modified light version. So 0 and 2. And the bat file I want it to be called launch2. I can put .bat or I can leave it off, it doesn't matter. Then a server address, I would put localhost port 9332. Remember, this step is completely optional. It's only if you want to have multiple configs, configuration files. The worker, um, username, and the password, password the GP model 5970 and aggression I'll do 14 on this one and no overclocking on this one and 256 for the work size config file written and um, so with that I can now close this window and this complete version of cgeasy.jar uh, creates um, any is more versatile but also requires more input from the user uh, but it'll create your little launch2.bat and so this launch litecoin.bat calls launch.bat if you create another one and call it something else 
instead of clicking launch Litecoin, you'll simply go into this folder and click the new one that you created, launch2.bat or whatever. Just to show you that it does work, uh, this is the one I created with the program, Siege Miner 2.6.2. No suitable long pull, you won't have long pulling with your wallet, don't worry about that. Not a problem. And it'll start up. And it'll just start mining away. Uh, the reason this hash rate is pretty low is one, it just started, so it's still ramping up its hash rate. But uh, two, it's on a very low aggression. So it has, uh, I think I said aggression 12, which means I can still do stuff on my desktop. I can still, you know, go around in the Litecoin wallet. I can browse the web, whatever. Um, I wouldn't try gaming or anything like that. But you can do simple things like browse forums, watch videos and stuff without it crashing, without it um, being really laggy and being, uh, 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 you know, it's nice and fluid movement. 30 frames per second, uh, whereas if you put the aggression much higher, your desktop will become laggy while you're trying to work. You can experiment with different aggression levels to determine what works best for you. So thank you for watching. The download link to autosolo.jar is in the description. If you would like the source code, that link is also in the description, although I wouldn't recommend recompiling this from source code merely because the point of recompiling from source code is to um, you know, compile the program and make sure you know what code is running. And while that is very nice and useful, the issue with that is that um, it downloads most of the files from my server, so anything that... you'd have to do a lot of rerouting, which if you want to do, go for it. However, uh, it, it's a lot more um, work than it is just to recompile something like CG Easy itself, if anyone did that. Uh, but you can, you're free to download and reuse the source code or anything. It's published under the Creative Commons. And my fan's spinning up. So thank you for joining me, and if you have any questions, post them as a comment below or in the main forum post on litecointalk.eu.